everyone. So we're currently at the Oregon Air National Guard base where the 142nd wing is getting ready for its 4th of July flyovers today. They'll be flying over a bunch of different cities in the area, including Lake Oswego. Uh, pretty sure they're flying over Happy Valley, the Dalles, lots of locations. And that full schedule is on our website at katu.com, so you can check that out. But currently, they're still getting ready, getting set to go. The first location will be the Dalles, and that flyover is expected around 945 this morning, so literally an hour from now. Um, and Colonel Hofford, he's right over there. He is an F-15 pilot, and he's the commander of the 142nd Wing. He's currently getting everything ready, uh, checking on just getting the um, jet set up and ready to go before they fly out, which should be pretty quick. And uh, we'll be talking to him in a couple minutes once he's ready to go. <laughs> so yeah, I just introduced you uh, while you were getting everything ready, but sure. Colonel Hofford, um, and so you know a lot of people in the area are going to be watching today on, from the ground, of course. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of talk about what people can expect to watch as you guys fly over? Yeah, so your hometown Air Force. Um, we're going to have two F-15Cs, air security fighters that uh, protect the Pacific Northwest that are going to be doing a route. We have approximately 14 points over about an hour and a half period of time, and uh, we're going to start off at the Dalles and then we're going to work our way back into Lake Oswego and then up towards the northern part of the coast and work our way down to central Oregon coastal area and then back up through through Salem and Ridgefield, Camas, and then back through Corbett and Happy Valley. So here to just uh, say happy birthday to the Portland metro area and uh, we're really proud to serve and, and be the protectors of the Northwest. Yeah, and you guys, pr you fly pretty low, right? Like a thousand feet? You Roughly. can expect, yeah, about a thousand feet above ground level and uh, between 300 and 350 knots. So, what kind of planning and preparation goes into that? Since you know, it's it's a well, it's first of all Fourth of July, so yeah. and you guys do this every year. Can you kind of talk about the background and how you get ready for these flights? Yeah, so you know, there's there's uh, a lot of communities that we request to fly by. We get approved by Secretary of the Air Force. Once those get approved, we we talk to the coordinators and find out where exactly they want us to fly, from what direction to you know what what direction. And uh, from there, you know, we, we, we start using our, our flight planning systems and we plot out a, uh, a course and a, a route and uh, we, we try and hit everything uh, as spot on as possible. It's not always easy because you're going fast, trying to pick up the targets, but technology in the jet's pretty good. That's awesome. And yeah, what does it mean to you as well? It's the 4th of July, you know, why do you do this every year? Why do you even, why do you fly even? Yeah, so, you know, what's great about the military is I can't pay my people anymore, you know, then Congress approves, but uh, what fuels their fire is patriotism. So we look forward to uh, trying to um, expand that patriotism amongst the community by letting you know that we're here and we're present and uh, um, protecting all of you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Colonel Hufford. I know you guys are busy getting ready, so I'll let you get back to it. And we'll, we're will we going to still stay live, though, and uh, watch the takeoff as well. So we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye. And as Colonel Hofford mentioned, that first flyover is in the Dalles. It's at 9.45 this morning in an hour for the 4th of July parade. Uh, and then after that, it'll be Lake Oswego. And then they'll keep going. There's a bunch of different uh, schedules. A uh, whole schedule is online, but a bunch of different locations. So they'll be flying this morning. But again, we're at the Oregon Air National Guard base where we're taking off, or where Colonel Hofford's taking off. And uh, we'll just be... Uh, putting in our earplugs because it's going to be pretty loud once that jet starts. <laughs>
guys gonna want to stay? All right, for those of you just joining us, feel free to stick with us. The uh, 142nd Wing is taking off from the Oregon Air National Guard base for their first location, which that's the Dalles, and that'll be at 945. We're just waiting uh, for Colonel Hofford, who's in the cockpit there, to take off. And again, this is for the 4th of July flyovers, and for anyone just joining us, uh, happy 4th of July. I hope you all are having a wonderful morning so far. All right, I'm gonna sign off for a little bit. Uh, again, this is Savannah Welch with K2 News, but stick with us, we'll be uh, filming the whole takeoff. So if you're just joining us, don't leave. <laughs> we'll have it all right here, right here on K2.
Alright, so we're walking over to where the uh, jets just taxied onto the runway. Both are F-15, right? Yeah. So yeah, both are F-15 fighter jets that will be taking off for the first location at the Dalles for the 4th of July flyovers. For all of you that just joined us, uh, we're watching them take off from the Oregon Air National Guard Base, and this is the 142nd wing that's taking off today for the July 4th holidays. We're walking over to get a better look. They just left the barns where they were um, stationed. So we're slowly making our way. We're right next to the airport. You might be able to see it in the camera. There's an Alaska airliner right there. Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Savannah. Nice to meet you. No, actually, we, well, on the runway, yeah. We, we're live on Facebook right now, so I was explaining kind of what was going on, but we were here a couple of months ago for a story interviewing some of the uh, weapons loads. So, I guess um, you said you're fine to kind of give some background on today. All right, so can you kind of talk about the preparation that goes into getting the jets ready, what would we just watched, you know, for the last maybe like 15, 20 minutes? Uh, so the, the crew chiefs will show up here two hours prior to crew step. Uh, they'll come out, they'll pre-fight the jets. Uh, weapons will come out and do a once-over as well to make sure all the munitions are safe. And then, uh, as you just witnessed, the pilots will step, uh, crew chiefs will launch them out. And that usually takes about 30 minutes. And now, right now, currently, they're sitting in the runway, or also called last chance. So you'll see you got three people down there, um, one crew chief, two weapons. So the crew chief uh, today, she'll she'll walk around and she's looking for anything that will you know, set the final flight. And if it is, she'll turn it back. We'll recover it very well. Fun. And then weapons also is out there. They're uh, arming all the munitions. They're, if they were live, it'd be a different story. Today, they're not live. So they're just arming them, uh, just in case they have to jettison them in flight for any kind of emergency. So yeah, last chance, uh, it's just one last look for the pilot to make sure he has a safe aircraft to take the flight. So that's about an eight minute routine right there, total for the two jets, so about four minutes each. Uh, once they're deemed airworthy, they'll go on their way. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, how many jets total just these two, or are there two? Today. Yeah, for the July flight. We have a spare in case one of these doesn't doesn't make it, we'll come back and then we'll run this burial. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, you'll be able to see the whole thing again. So, yeah. so far we're looking good. Looks like there's no issues. Uh, we'll know here in a minute. So, yeah. So today is two on a norm. It's usually six jets in the morning and four in the afternoon. But today is just two. Is that like typically for the 4th of July? Or uh, of like Monday through Friday is every day. Yeah. It's so usually a six month Yeah, just today is two. I'm going to cover quite a bit of land or quite a bit of airspace in the next few hours. Yeah, so, again, this is basically live yeah. Like yeah, I can uh, give you a second. I have it too. Yeah. Quite a few. Yeah. Um, so, currently, they're going to be over the Dow at 945 this morning and then uh, Lake House Wheel at 10. And then Class 9 at 10 08. Warren 10 at 1013. Manzanita at 1018. Rockaway Beach at 1020, and Ness Nolan at 1025, Turner at 1033, St. Paul at 1037, Richfield, Washington at uh, 1045, Amos at 1048, and Corbett at 11, and then finally Happy Valley at 1106. And then they'll come right back yeah, they'll land to the here. Bay. Yeah, so they, they cover a lot of airspace in a short amount of time, and they have to be time on target uh, for the parades. So that's why you'll notice it's not on the hour, it's 11.08. Yeah. So they want to they be on a certain area, over a certain area at a certain time. Okay. So yeah, very it's critical. Specific. Yeah, very specific. So it's super critical. They take off on time and they hit all their targets. And it's good, nice weather, so there'll be no issues there. Yeah. So yeah. I know, it's so nice out. Yeah. I'm glad that the sun is coming warm. through. Yeah, a little <laughs> toasty. It's going to be pretty warm today, so it'll be a good, good holiday. Uh -huh. But 
Yeah, so it'll, yeah. Be, it'll be good for the viewers to see these guys fly over. It's yeah. a lot of fun for the people on the ground. And I asked Colonel Hofford this earlier, but too, what can people expect on the ground, you know, when they're watching, or yeah. what should they wait, look out for? So you won't, unless they're announcing it, uh, those times are critical, just kind of keep your eye in the sky. Um, unless you, you're not gonna be able to hear them. Unless they do a flyover once and they'll come through. Sometimes they don't, they'll just come right through. Um, but they'll be about a thousand feet, uh, 400 knots, so you won't miss them. You yeah. might not see them coming, but you'll see them going. <laughs> Is there any like special preparation for flying um, when it is so low compared to nope. normal flights, or is it just no, pretty we much treat every flight the same? Uh, just due to the fact that you never know what what could happen. So yeah, we don't do anything any different for these specific flights. Yeah, they're okay. all the same. And is it every year that you fly F-15 yep. aircraft? Yep, on the fourth. Yeah, yeah, for the fourth. Yeah. Every year we do it. Yeah, we do uh, Memorial Day flybys. Uh, basically. Every, all, the every, patriotic all the patriotic holidays. holidays we're out here flying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of air shows, do rodeos, you know, so we're, we're busy. Summer times are busy. I am so sure. Year. <laughs> well, we're here a lot. Always busy. But it's good for the public to see what we do. Yeah. A lot of people don't even know we exist and until they see us at a parade, they're like, wow, I had no clue, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the hometown the airport. Hometown airport. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, so what do you do? Uh, I'm the flight line superintendent, so I'm in charge of... Um, all the personnel, all the crew chiefs. Uh, yeah, it's it's a big it's a big tasking, but it's pretty rewarding. So yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite part about working out the here? The people. The people, for sure. Can't do it without your people. Yeah, like everybody here is uh, volunteered to come in on a on the fourth. You know, they're they're just patriotic next person. So what a great way to celebrate Fourth of July. That's awesome. Well, look. It's rewarding. I'm I'm sure. It seems like everyone here. Very close and, yeah. So I guess yeah, maybe we'll we'll take a break. Okay. Awesome how efficient it is, and it really is like, yeah. 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 No. That's why you rely on the people, on the people to write things every time. That's why it's a so You just want to make sure you're giving them the best quality product you can. How so. many people for the, the check, like when a jet's about to head to the runway, how many people have to kind of go through and make sure that So, three on inter runway today, currently, as we just witnessed there, and then you got two crew chiefs that launch them. Um, and prior to you guys coming out, the two crew chiefs per jet came out and they do a complete pre-flight on it. Mm -hmm. So they go by work cards, making sure it's airworthy. Yeah. So, but there's a lot behind the scenes that you don't see, right? You got weapons, you got avionics. So there's there's a team that you you'll, you won't see out here um, that also are making those jets fly. So it takes everybody to make it happen. It's not it's not one person. It's sure. it's the whole team. And weapons load team too. So for like today, for example, is it live ammunition or is it it's all test, all, right? All yep. Yeah, we won't. They don't fly alive, so or something like this. Yeah. 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 So then when they're practice, it's just how they practice right. normally, and yep. that's how it would be today. Yeah, today's strictly just a, a morale thing. There's no. They'll, now they'll get training out of it, but they're you know they're not um, they're not out there doing uh, their hard training. They're doing more just to fly by but they still get training the pilots still get their currency out of that okay. so yeah it's just a different type so it's, it's probably more pleasure for them than anything they get to go sightsee as well yeah <laughs> yeah, so, yeah so right now this airplane on land and once uh he's on the deck um, there's one more coming in so it might be a little bit we'll see here they're ready to go will there be a signal from the aircraft or is it just will start moving yeah you'll see the first one there there he goes okay. so yeah he's going to roll out and, uh throttle up and take off hopefully he'll take off a burner today i think they will we'll see
<laughs> this will also be on Facebook, even though it'll, it's live now, it'll stop. But okay. you can watch the whole, um, yeah, the whole clip of. Perfect. All right, we're going to sign off for a little bit while they take off. All right, guys, well, they both just left the runway, headed to the Dalles. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys were able to tune in on Facebook or on our website, wherever you are watching. Again, the whole website or the whole schedule for all of the locations where they'll be flying, uh, it's on our website. And if you take photos of them today as they're coming through, flying by, you can go to k2.com slash chime in, share all your photos. We can share those directly on our shows later today, and hopefully we'll include those in our broadcast. But definitely check those uh, check the website out for any additional information on the flyovers. Uh, Savannah Welch again from the Oregon Air National Guard base and have a wonderful 4th of July.